my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. Woohoo! I'm Jen and this is Friday Sews when you should definitely click on that hashtag and go find all the people who will tell you all about what they're sewing, what's coming up, and all about their lives. Well, maybe not all about, but you know, a little bit about their lives. And I do the same thing. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss any of those. Plus little extra tidbits that come up, which lately have included pattern destashing. I hope you like those videos. Let me know if you do because, uh, you know, I need to get rid of these patterns. And so I thought maybe you would like kind of, you know, going through the catalog as it were with me. Okay, sewing. Let's get to that. I have been folding patterns, folding PDF patterns, and I have a huge stack here. Oh. And I counted and I have 28. I have, uh, let's see, two, only two left to do. And I, what I'm doing is folding them to store them rather than rolling them up like this. And I wanna do that because, um, I've got my dress form. Hello, what is it? <laughs> dress form backed into the corner, which gives me more space to get around this way. And it actually might give me more space for my little rolling cart, which is right over there. And it uh, contains a lot of, you know, the little things that you need right next to you when you sew, you know, like we all do. So uh, I've been folding those and I'm trying to think of a way to put them into folders or envelopes or something. And I have some ideas, but they're expensive. And so I'm trying to find a better way to do it, but I haven't yet. So I'll keep you posted on that. I got my iron set up. Oh my gosh. I worked and worked and worked with my reliable tank iron and I still could not get steam to come out of it. I waited in the mail to get, no, I didn't wait in the mail. I waited for um, a filter that I had ordered from a quilt shop in Canada. And the problem there is that they don't make that iron anymore. They make a couple of upgraded versions. And so they don't make that filter anymore. It's not available on their website. And so I, you know, got the new filter, thought, okay, this is going to do it. And nope, it just, I don't know what is going on, but I cannot get steam to come out of that thing. So I looked at repair costs and uh, even just for them to look at it uh, is a fair amount of money. And so I just thought, by the, I added it up and I thought by the time they repair it, it will equal the cost of the iron. So, you know, in those kinds of cases, it's just easier to get a new iron. So, you know, I did and I got it set up and it took a little <laughs> going step by step by step. And they were not overly comprehensive with their directions as to how to do it. But it's because they're pretty much all the same one to the next. I mean, you know, you connect things the same way and I did get an IV pole, so there is that. It's not, I, I think it can't hang the thing up high enough to get this the gravity thing going, but I've tried it and it works. So it works to my satisfaction. So that is all set up. So uh, nothing really creative this week. I didn't create anything, but I have been cleaning a lot of things up and, you know, getting things all settled. So um, I do have news about my daughter's wedding gown, which I have been stressing over and fussing over and agonizing over. She came last week. This is part of why I didn't get anything creative done or any sewing done. It's because uh, she flew in for the weekend. Another fiasco with Allegiant Airlines, by the way, who I have banned from my family. We will never fly them again. They are, no. Uh, but anyway, she flew in on Friday night and then stayed until Tuesday, almost Tuesday night. And she put on the dress. We fiddled around with it. Her sister was also here. And then she has a sister that lives here. So it was great. I had three out of five at my house at one time. It was fantastic. 
so she tried on the dress. She, you know, we fiddled around with the dress. We got out all the organza in all of the colors and we, you know, pinned and arranged and just kind of talked about and worked through how this was going to happen. And, you know, I finally had the courage and the wherewithal and the boundary. That's the most important thing to say, Jenna, you know what? With my skill set at this point, I don't think I can give you what you want. I am more afraid that I will screw it up than I am brave enough to take it on. And she said, no problem, mom. I thought she was going to be really upset with me, but no, she wasn't at all. Uh, we talked about a few other things like uh, a cape maybe with a hood that she could wear because she wants to get married out in the snow. And we talked about the bow that she wants me to make. I can make a bow for like a, a belt kind of, you know, around her waist. She is the tiniest thing, man. So huge, huge relief. Man, a weight fell off my shoulders as soon as we got that cleared up. And I just felt so much better about it. And in fact, I found a roll of stuff here that I need to send her. This is a tool that is sparkly and it looks like I've got some iridescent organza, some more. Um, so I'm gonna package this up and send it to her now that I've discovered it. So that problem has been solved, yay, thank you, Jesus. On tap for next week are two pillowcases. Uh, this one is Hey Jude. It is uh, the Beatles. It's just a quilting cotton and it's for my husband. And so is this one. And this is the Indianapolis Colts because he is a huge Colts fan. And you know, I made him one. He is, you know, child of the 50s, charmed life. I mean, he was, he was Opie Taylor growing up, if you know who he is. Probably you do. And, um, he loved Superman. So I made him a Superman pillowcase for Christmas. So I got, I had these fabrics and I thought, I thought I'll just make him two more because he seems to really like them. I feel like since the weight has been lifted off my shoulders with regard to that wedding gown, I feel like the whole, you know, rest of the year um, is open to me. So yeah, there's that. Yay. With life, I gotta get in the pool. In fact, I'm gonna go later today and just get in the pool. Swimming laps, it's great exercise. So good for your joints. And I need to be moving. The thing about getting in the pool is that you get out of the pool, your hair is wet. So you have to go all that day and till you shower or maybe, I don't blow dry my hair. I just let it dry naturally because I, it gets damaged enough with coloring it. And so I, go around with wet hair all day. I don't like that. You know, you can always put your hair up. That's doable. But it makes me want to go, oh, I don't want to go today. Yeah. I I need somebody to light a fire under me. My husband is good at that. He'll say, well, why don't you get in the pool today? And it starts to get nagging after a while, but it's such good um, motivation. I mean, it's like a little push that I need. Stop arguing with yourself and just get in the pool. Question for this week. We are talking about hobbies, other hobbies that we have other than sewing. So here's the question. This is still sewing, but are you a quilter? I bet a lot of you are. And I bet that's true because you went from quilting and you're easing yourself into sewing garments, which seems really hard. Now, oddly, sewing garments is very uh, it's very much a comfort zone for me. So when I go to shrinking a 5 8 inch seam allowance down to a quarter of an inch and then having to line up corners, <laughs> it just like, ah! Uh, probably that's what you do if you're a quilter and you're going to uh, making clothing. So yeah, new things for all of us. I am not a quilter. I have uh, made a couple of small things that I've really liked. They were mug rugs um, that I got from Izzy at Dizzy Quilts. And so she's done 
those on like a quarterly basis. And I don't know if she's still doing those. She has a quilt block of the month thing that she's doing right now. And I want to do that, but I'm going to have to play catch up because I've missed the previous, I think three months. So yeah, I'll link her channel down below. So if you want to check out the quilt of the month block with Izzy. Uh, so I haven't really made anything but the mug rugs. Uh, so I have some quilting stuff that I want to try. I don't know, maybe I'll try some of that next week. And I also have a great big thing that was given to me that I need to unbox with you having to do with quilting. So uh, yeah, that's the question for this week. Let me know uh, what your experience is with quilting and what you would recommend for a great project for someone starting out and also uh, what's your favorite thing that you've ever quilted? Uh, that's it for Friday Sews. So if you are a person that kind of hops out right here, I just want to tell you thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Mwah. If you are a person who sticks around for that little bit of Jesus, that's what I have now. This is from Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. I have to tell you that I prayed and prayed and prayed over that wedding gown, and it was a heavy burden. And when I would pray, I would just pray that God would resolve the situation. And, you know, he lifted that burden and gave me rest. Jesus did that. And, uh, you know, you can trust that he will do what he says he's going to do. He says he's going to do it. And he did it. And I am here to testify. <laughs> so you might want to keep that in mind this week. If you are burdened by anything, you just bring it to Jesus. And you know what? You have to believe that it's done. It's done. He loves you. He cares for you. It's done. It's a done deal. Don't need to worry about it anymore. I will leave you with that, and uh, that's it for now for me. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.